This little girl squats in front of the fridge, making animal-like roars. When she turns around, she's actually knowing on raw meat and trying to attack her mom. However, she gradually calms down under her mom's reassurance. The next day, Jenny is swinging on a swing in the park. Jenny's emotions go haywire again, and suddenly, a strong wind picks up in the sunny sky. Jenny, with a fierce expression, glares at Mike washing his car. Mike gets a shock, and the next moment, all his teeth unexpectedly fall out. He panics and hurriedly drives away. James brings in the most famous local exorcist to drive out the demon. They take Jenny to an empty room, and the exorcist begins arranging various exorcism tools. The exorcist's method is something I've never seen before. The next moment, a monster-like roar emanates from inside Jenny. She directly leaps, pinning the exorcist to the ground, and then escapes from the place. James follows in pursuit and catches up in the mortuary. Fearless James takes out his phone, creating a bizarre scene. Jenny cries out for her father's name from below, asking him to come and hold her. When others find them, James and Jenny hug tightly. The ring on Jenny's hand falls to the ground, as if everything has come to an end. Seeing that the situation is not so simple, the exorcist shouts the name of the demon with all his strength. A strange wind blows in the room, and James collapses, his eyeballs turning white. A mysterious force throws him a hundred meters away. A hand as white as jade emerges from Jane's mouth, and the demon crawls back into the wooden box. This girl just drank a glass of juice and felt something stuck in her throat. The next moment, two fingers popped out from her throat, scaring the girl as she peed herself. When she checked again, there was nothing there. Meanwhile, her sister was still in the bathroom brushing her teeth. She cautiously opened the cabinet to get face wash. James heard the scream and rushed over, finding that the source of the moths was in Jenny's room. Opening the door, the scene was spectacular, with thousands of moths flying around Jenny. James bravely carried Jenny out. The next day in class, a mischievous boy took Jenny's backpack and curiously looked inside the box. Jenny noticed and immediately grabbed it, giving him a couple of slaps. Fortunately, the teacher intervened in time, or this student might have been beaten to death. The teacher confiscated her wooden box. In the evening, while working overtime, the teacher heard a sound coming from the wooden box. She tried to open it but couldn't. Then her eyes bled and she accidentally fell out of the window. The next day, the school temporarily suspended classes for investigation due to a homicide. James vaguely felt that there was something wrong with this wooden box, so he threw it into the garbage. But Jenny couldn't find the wooden box and started making a scene. Just when the father and daughter were arguing fiercely, a big slap suddenly landed on Jenny's face. Now James was confused. He hadn't done anything. Jenny, crying hysterically, ran out of the house and went to the garbage dump, where she found the wooden box. The next moment, countless small moths flew into the little girl's mouth. This girl had just finished eating a lollipop and felt something in her throat. As though, she took out a flashlight to check her throat. The next moment, three fingers appeared in her throat, scaring Jenny. When she checked again, there was nothing. This day, James was driving his daughters to school. The older daughter saw a shop selling second-to-hand items on the roadside. Since James had just moved to a new place, Jenny said she needed some plates. Coincidentally, Jenny was attracted by a wooden box, feeling something strange, as if something was calling her. She asked her dad to buy the wooden box. Holding this mysterious box, Jenny, in a trance, came to the backyard and saw an old lady by the window covered in gauze. The old lady, upon seeing Jenny holding the wooden box, excitedly tapped on the window. Startled, Jenny quickly ran away. Back home, Jenny was fascinated by this box. She carefully examined it for a long time, but couldn't find any way to open it, not even a gap. James tried various ways but couldn't open it, only feeling that there was something inside. Unable to sleep at night, Jenny opened the box, which looked very strange. After opening the box, she found it filled with junk, covered in dust and a dead moth. Continuing to search, Jenny discovered an ancient ring, happily putting it on. Then she found a tooth, feeling nauseous and quickly closing the box. The next day, strange things happened. The older sister was brushing her teeth in the bathroom, when she felt something behind her. A weird voice, turning her head, revealed nothing. Just as the sister thought she might be hallucinating, she opened the cabinet, 